This message was from Jesus Christ to Maria of Divine Mercy on Sunday, October 12th, 2014. It's titled, I am coming for those who are most undeserving of my mercy first. And if you don't know what the book of truth is, I'll put a description in the description and a link in the description so you can go and download the messages. My dearly beloved daughter, I'm the protector of all God's children, every single one of you, irrespective of your sex, age, or creed. I am the protector of my church on earth, and no man will prevail against it. It will remain intact, although many will have deserted me. Those who desert me, who change the word of God, cannot say that they are of my church, for I cannot protect a church that does not speak the truth. The true test of your faith has begun, and soon you will be confused and won't know where to turn. Be assured that, merciful though I am, I will never stand and allow traitors to desecrate my body. They will only go so far before the thundering force of the hand of God will be heard. You must focus on me and accept that the tribulation has intensified and that all things foretold must be witnessed. Only when the prophecies given to the world in the beginning become apparent will man fully understand that my time is almost upon him. You must never fear me, for my love and mercy is expansive. Fear only those who do not come from me, for it is the spirit of evil that drives them to do terrible things. By prayer alone you can help to atone for their sins, and through such a generous act you can diffuse the smoke of Satan. His fumes engulf the world at this time, but to be able to recognize his presence is more difficult than you can imagine. His influence is always hidden behind an exterior of concern, humanitarian acts, and is presented in the most unexpected but respectful way. The man who is blessed with the the gift of discernment will understand how Satan operates. He will recognize his works no matter how carefully disguised they are presented to, to a world which is blind to the truth. Soon my voice will awaken within the hearts of men, their spirituality, a sense of who they are, an understanding as to whom they belong, and an awareness of the eternal life I will bring them. Know that when this awakening begins that the power of God will be felt as God's justice arises out of the ashes and when a beacon of light brings life back into the barren field, which will have been left in a withered state by the evil one. My voice will be heard, and many will be shocked when that day begins. It will peal out like thunder, and every righteous man will bend down on one knee in praise of God. I am coming for those who are most undeserving of my mercy first. They are the ones who should be last because of the way they treated me, and yet they will be beckoned into my kingdom first. The just will come last, the wicked will be left behind. No stone will be left unturned up to the last second, and those who scream for my mercy will be given it. Those who curse me will be cursed. Find dear Jesus. Just incredible. And that's all I really have for today. God bless you.